dwell in my garden, in my kingdom, and let you remain my subject. No, that's not good enough. What are you talking about? If you want to get something from me, I need to get something from you. your ball and in no time at all you kept your promise to me okay so what is this promise from anyway invite me over or having dinner tonight are you serious sleep on your pillow do you like left side or right and the last part of A kiss? A kiss? Are you out of your ever-loving, throbbing mind? You've been that long for far too long. Yes, actually, I have. Way back then in my life I was cursed and transformed by a horrible spell that was cast by a queen who was being real mean and she left me in this lonely well to be kissed on the nose and no longer a toad but the prince who I used one thing I know I believe to be so is you can help me finally be me. Why me be you? Why would I do that? To keep your promise. So I can get what I need. I'll have my ball back. And I will finally be free. What am I getting again? My golden ball! All right. <laughs> Adios! Hasta la vista, Froggy! You could have at least said thank you. You're, You're welcome. welcome! Who said that? Hiya, Frog, formerly known as Prince! <laughs> I thought I told you never to call me that in public. Yes. Why not? I'm incognito. Hey, why are you undercover? I finally met the princess. Things were rolling along, and what happened, buddy? You look a little low. To the ground, ha <laughs> ha, ribbit. Oh, guys, I was so close. I was almost there, up at the palace with her, eating dinner, sleeping on her pillow, and getting my nose kissed. I had her eating out of the palm of my flipper. Yeah? What happened? She didn't keep her promise. She took the ball and ran. Yeah, we heard. At the rate I'm going, I'll never be turned back into a human again. Now why on earth would you want to be human again? Being an amphibian is a lot of fun. How? Well, you can swim in underwater contests. Yeah, and uh, you don't have to change your clothes for St. Patrick's Day. And hey, if things don't work out for you here in the garden, you can always understudy a Muppet or fake an Australian accent and get an insurance game. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I know you're trying to help. I'm just so depressed, I could just croak. Raw. <laughs> oh, here we go. Scoop it up off the ground again. 
when you're blue, when you're down and out, think of who, always else you are thoughtful, loyal, brave and kind, friends like us are hard to find, it ain't bad, hanging out in a lily pad, in the sun, and catching flies, and soaking up the sun, we'll bribe to be fun, you may think you're a town, Well... <laughs> 
don't like your gift either? Apparently Princess Acrimonia doesn't like to look at paintings, so I made a bust of her lovely face. I'm sure she'll bust with pride. I know, right? <laughs> well, she certainly busted something. <laughs> I think we know how this is going to play out. Lady Carmella, present do-over, I presume? Well, apparently Princess Acrimonia doesn't like to read very much, so I've written her a rollicking rap to recognize her royal renown. Right. I know. <laughs> royal rap received wrongly? Right. Did anyone just feel the earth shake just now? I don't know about you folks, but I heard some terrible crashing and screaming. That was no earthquake, Your Majesty. It was a princess quake. Uh. Oh, I'm so sorry, Your Majesty. I better get back to Her Royal Highness. Evidently, uh, Princess Acrimonia is still upset about her birthday gifts. Raising children? Forget about it. Oh my! <clears throat> Who is this royal page? Oh, no one, your majesty. Just some locals from the village. Well, let them in. It's always good for me to hear the concerns of the little people. Right you are, your majesty. Sorry I'm late. It took us longer to hop up the hill than expected. Who are you? And, uh... What are you? And, uh, well, what can I do for you? I'm so glad you asked. Come here, guys. Wipe your feet. Wait a minute. So there I was, minding my own froggy business at the bottom of the well, when out of nowhere landed this giant projectile on the head, when I discovered that it was a princess's ball. The princess's new golden ball? Yes. Her beautiful golden ball? Yes. Her beautiful golden ball that I had specially commissioned for her because she is the greatest jewel in my kingdom and she threw it out the palace window into the garden golden ball? Yes. Her beautiful golden ball that you had specially commissioned because she is the greatest jewel in your entire kingdom and she tossed it out of the window into the well, into the garden, and it landed on my head and gave me a wilt. Oh, that sounds like it must have really hurt. I'm terribly sorry. Daddy, it's time for dinner. Everybody's wait. What are you doing here? I came here so you could keep your promise. <laughs> promise? Who would ever make a promise to a frog? You did. You said that if I got your ball, you would let me have dinner in your castle, sleep on your pillow, and that you would kiss me on the nose. Acrimonia. Is it true what this uh, frog says? Truth is relative, Daddy. Well, as your step-relative, I demand a straight answer. Is it true that you made these promises to, um, what's your name again? Croker. Croker, thank you. Is it true you promised these things to Croker? Well, well, yes, but I didn't mean it. I see. Well, uh, good frogs. Uh, Gentle frogs, could you please give us a private moment with Acrimonia and uh, your friend Croker? Okay, Mr. King. Yeah, we were just going. Yeah, headed outside where the frogs live. Princess Acrimonia. A princess always keeps her promises. If there's one thing I've tried to teach you, it's compassion for those lower to the ground than you are. Now, Croker, what is this business about Dinner and a pillow? And nose kissing? Mm. Well, here's the thing, your majesticness. Mm. A long time ago, I was placed under a spell, turned into a frog, and told that the only way I could break the spell and be human again was to find a beautiful princess, have dinner with her, sleep on her pillow, and have her kiss your nose? You got it. Mm. Acrimonia! 
Kroger will be sleeping on your pillow this evening. Fine. You want my pillow? Here's my pillow, nighty night. Hey, that's not what I meant. You come back here, young lady. I have a feeling she's not on board with all of this. Now, now, things will look brighter in the morning. Are you sure? Well, they certainly can't get any worse. Hey, who turned out the lights? Just kidding. King, things can always get worse. Nighty night, Croker. <laughs> what parenting is all about? <laughs> Yes, well, 
There we were, getting ready for dinner, and the royal page was polishing the royal silverware, and the ladies in waiting were waiting, and they were bringing additional guests to Acrimonia, who was throwing things across the room, back and forth. It was just another normal night at the palace. <laughs> and then suddenly, the door opens, and there, staring at me, was a colony of frogs. It was very strange. Very strange? Mm -hmm. What happened next? Well, then I invited them in, and there was one frog 